the previous video, we have mentioned about the shear reinforcement. However, there are also sections that not requiring any shear reinforcement. It is especially when your shear load is actually less than the shear resistance of the concrete itself. Under these circumstances, no shear reinforcement is required. This table shows the typical conditions when the shear reinforcement is not required and when the shear reinforcement is required. Normally, when the concrete section is relatively large in comparison to the load, no shear reinforcement is required. Otherwise, you will require shear reinforcement. In the case that the shear reinforcement is not required, we still need to check for the shear capacity of the member. The shear capacity of the concrete needs to be greater than the shear load. It is calculated by using these equations and the minimum resistance of the concrete is given here. The shear resistance of the concrete is in the functions of K and also the row 1. The row 1 here represents the amount of reinforcement bar provided over the section area while K is a function of the depth of the member. This value should at least be greater than the minimum resistance of the concrete given by these equations. And these equations are normally used for the reinforced concrete slab as the provided cross-sectional area of the slab is relatively large in comparison to the load attained on it.